Went down, but I'm not sure if I went the right way. This is baggage claim, grand transportation. So weird. It says you can't go over here. So you have We'll go find out how you get to your to the bus shuttle center stuff. Airport bus? Nothing's very clear about rental cars. I'm gonna go down here. There's like an info, whatever. Oh, maybe this tells you. Do you see anything on here that says rental cars? There I do. Bam, right there. But it doesn't say where to go. <laughs> it just says little bit. Well, actually, it says go up to. So it says I need to go up. Okay, let's go up. I don't think that's right, but. See, right there it says escalator up ticketing departures. Right there it says airport transit to rental cars, remote parking, terminals 235. So I need to get on that thing. Airport transit. And that out there says Airport Express. I think I have to go outside. I hope you can all understand how this is now. It's uh, the most crystal clear thing on what you got to do. But I know I got to look for that thing right there, that little tram. But I think that's up a level. Maybe you have to go outside to go up to it. I normally don't. When I fly here, I, I fly through here. I don't fly, like, get out. So I'm a little confused. Airport, whoa, that's really warm air. Airport Express to the right. That's not the, that's not my thing. Ah. It's not clear. Okay, so I took an elevator up, took me up to ticketing, but I actually need to go up one more. I do need to hop on that train, tram thing. So that's where I'm going now. Oops, sorry about that. Not very clear, but yeah, I need to get on that airport tram and go to the key with the car on it. So that's what we're doing. This is where uh, people pick you up. Departures, arrivals. It's funny, like this sign right now, all of a sudden rental cars are gone. There are no rental cars. But then, look, look, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. <gasps> rental cars. Why, why, why are signs so poorly managed? Like very difficult to find your way around places if you don't know the area. Pretty silly. Poor planning. All right, but we're gonna get on this thing and then get to our rental car. Shocking, right? That was such a quick. I don't know why you hop on it for. I waited longer to get on this thing. 
in that, <laughs> that stop from here to there. Cool. Could have walked that. It's like it went like for one minute. Stop. My goodness. Well, up here at the top, it kind of tells you where we are. We just went one to two. We have to go to F.
Top, there's Fox Aldo, six dollar, whatever. I need to go to budget, so I'm going this way. Here's a nice little descriptor there for you. So, they have a north parking F and a south parking P. That's what you need to pay attention to. I'm going to north parking. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, I don't know if it matters, but this says budget. Budget, please proceed to the right first floor counter. Sounds like I have to go back up. Although budget's over here. Right? First floor. Oh, maybe this is the first floor. That's some cool artwork on the wall. Respect that. See how this works. I did fill out something online ahead of time, like, uh, but I don't think it's actually gonna be like a mobile. There's like three or four people. <laughs> See, I don't know if I'm fast break. I did this, I scanned that thing. So now we wait. Okay, so that's where you come down from the. Uh, Tram. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to see more videos like it. I think the main rule here is uh, when you get your luggage at Chicago, you know, O'Hare, uh, go up two floors. One floor will get you up to ticketing, but you need to go one above that. That will take you over to the tram. That will get you over to all this stuff uh, that you'll want to get to if you're trying to rent a car or something. If you just have people picking you up, you don't have to worry about any of that. But if you are trying to rent a vehicle, that's the way you do it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Take flight.